Support for NPR comes from this station and from Bottle Wine and More, where in-store teams can recommend a bottle of wine, spirit, or beer for any occasion. Shoppers can explore more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. More at TotalWine.com. And from Echo, publisher of Olaf Olafsson's new novel, The Sacrament. A nun's past returns to her when she and a former student investigate the death of a priest and a series of abuse claims at a Catholic school in Iceland. Available now. Support for KERA comes from you, our members, and from... Baird. For 100 years, investment professionals at Baird have partnered with individuals, businesses, institutions, and communities working together toward their financial goals. More information is available at rwbairdtexas.com. Fogo de Chile Brazilian Steakhouse, where you can have a choice of fire-roasted meats, including the new New York Strip. You can discover other choices at Fogo in Uptown Addison or Plano Legacy West. Reservations at fogo.com. You're listening to your source for NPR News, 90.1 KERA, Dallas, Fort Worth, Denton. Also 100.1 K261CW in Tyler, 88.3 K202DR in Wichita Falls, and 99.3 K257EV in Sherman. All Things Considered is next on KERA 90.1. Steely, the ho ho host of Live From Here. Who's writing this? Join us this week with guests Sarah Bareilles, Los Lobos, Maria Bamford, Dave Hill, and cast members from West Side Story. Tune in, we promise to make your spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing kids. Saturday afternoon, beginning at 5 on KERA 90.1. Reserve's decision to leave interest rates alone follows three rate cuts this year. It reflects its view that the U.S. economy has so far withstood the U.S.-China trade war and a global slump and remains generally healthy. I'm Justin Martin, and this is All Things Considered. The Democrats maintain that the FBI investigation into possible ties between the Trump campaign and Russia was not politically biased. The FBI investigation was motivated by facts, not bias. Republicans disagree. More from today's Senate hearing just ahead. And a new study shows 53 million low-wage workers live in America, and the data reveals racial disparity, too. Although whites make up a slight majority of all low-wage workers, if you're a person of color, chances are greater that you're going to be low-wage. We dive into the details later in the hour. The news is next. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear. The watchdog for the Justice Department is testifying today before the Senate Judiciary Committee. NPR's Brian Naylor reports Michael Horowitz has been critical of how the FBI obtained warrants to conduct surveillance on a Trump campaign aide. Horowitz told senators the FBI made basic and fundamental errors in how it obtained the warrants under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. You know, I think the activities we found here are going to indicate anybody who touched this. Horowitz also said top FBI officials showed no political bias when they opened their investigation into the 2016 Trump campaign. The top Democrat on the panel, Senator Dianne Feinstein of California, said the report showed there was no deep state plotting against Trump. But committee chairman, Republican Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, said the system failed and that FBI officials took the law into their own hands. Brian Naylor, NPR News, Washington. An analysis by the FAA after the crash of a Lion Air Boeing 737 MAX jet predicted there would be more disasters without a fix of a critical automated flight control system. That disclosure came as the House Transportation Committee questioned the head of the FAA over his agency's oversight of airplane builder Boeing today. 
And HRP or DeFazio accusing the agency of failing to do its job. What this found was that over the life of the fleet, if you had a fleet of 4,800 planes, you could have 15 more catastrophic fatal accidents, which as the chairman said is unacceptable. How do you let an aircraft fly if you think that it's actually going to crash? Despite that assessment, the FAA did not ground the plane until after a second deadly crash five months later. The Boeing 737 MAX has been grounded since March. Authorities are still investigating the murders at a kosher grocery store in Jersey City. NPR's Quill Lawrence reports on a briefing by state and federal law enforcement. Officials confirmed that a Jersey City police detective and later three civilians were killed by a man and a woman who entered a Jewish grocery store and shot everyone inside. One civilian escaped the scene with a gunshot wound. Asking for patience as the investigation continues, New Jersey Attorney General Gerbier Graywall refused to speculate about the motives of the two attackers who were killed by police. We saw the very worst of humanity. But in the response, as law enforcement worked to address the threat, and as the community came together to bring...
playing the violin, and Sir Neville Mariner conducting the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields, a trio sonata, a musical offering by J.S. Bach, here on Classical 101.1 WRR. Well, the Fort Worth Civic Orchestra invites you to their Teddy Bear concert this Saturday, 7.30, at Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary. The New Philharmonia Orchestra of Urban continues their Sundays at the Symphony Series with Connections for American Landscapes. Uh, this Sunday, 3.30 at the Irving Arts Center. And Christmas Memories is the theme of the Mesquite Symphony Christmas Concert this Saturday at 7.30 at the Mesquite Arts Center. Just a taste of what's going on here in North Texas. More information on the Arts Calendar at WRR101.com. A big, brassy Christmas and Orbe Extravaganza returns to the Myers. An annual tradition continues with Christmas classics performed by members of the DSO Brass and Percussion Center, as well as the Grand Lay Family Concert Organ. Enjoy cherished holiday day this Christmas June to the Myers. Call 204 TIX or DSO or visit mydso.com. December 19th, for one night only, a big, brassy Christmas and Orbe Extravaganza. Just visiting a showroom, you're entering a display of art from around the world. You view art that was created by nomads and by professionals in homes and factories. You browse antique, collectible, and modern loves, a stunning collection of colors, styles, and quality materials. And let the knowledgeable staff explain the origin and answer your questions about the construction of any. Each staff member has years of experience. Talk by owner and reg expert, Ben Tabacolian, whose experience comes from generations of expertise, knowledge, and care. Visit Ben and Rugs, 18,000 Preston Road, or browse the website at bhnamrugs.com. Saints Episcopal Church, 5,000 Mount Crest Line, Northern Fort Worth, Saturday evening, December 15th at 5 p.m. For a beautiful program of Christmas music with choir, strings, and organ. Hear the sublime voices of the All Saints Choir, led by British organist and choir master Clive Driscoll Smith. The program will include Corellius Christmas Concerto and stunning arrangements of Ding Dong, Merrily Alive, and O Holy Night. Mr. Driscoll Smith will put the five manual guard and pipe organ through its paces with the thrilling Rhapsody Sur de Noëls by Uchen Ishigori. The All Saints Choir will join the Chamber Orchestra in four Christmas classics, and the concert will end with everyone singing, O oh, Come All Ye Faithful. Admission is free, a reception for everyone will follow the concert. That's Sunday, December 15th, 5 p.m. at All Saints Episcopal Church, 5001 Crestline Road, Fort Worth. Visit online at ASECFW.org. The Brain, the most sophisticated and creative force in the world. The Center for Brain Health announces the 2020 edition of its popular series, The Brain, an Owner's Guide. Learn how science is expanding our knowledge every day about the brain's ability to innovate, adapt, and overcome. This holiday season, give the gift of brain health. A lecture is offered every Tuesday in February and features renowned leaders in the field. This holiday season, give the gift of brain health to yourself or a loved one. Tickets are on sale now at centerforbrainhealth.org. It's going to happen. Someday it will be your turn to plan a group trip, maybe an incentive trip for your employees, or a special way to say thank you to VIPs or your best clients. But when it comes, remember, Arta Travel. It's your chance to spoil your guests, provide unique experiences, and provide them with perks only available to group travelers. And you get to take all the credit. Now there's even an Arta Travel phone app. Everyone can access the itinerary and even chat with each other so everyone in the group stays on the same page. It's worry-free, caring service you don't get from a reservation. It's what the Art of Travel experts do every day. When your turn comes, plan your next group trip because there are only two words you need to know. Art of Travel. Affiliated with American Express. Take advantage of your card member benefits. Search A-R-T-A Travel on 972-422-4000 or visit artoftravel.com. Take a holiday trip across America with Copeland's Appalachian Spring, The Big Country by Jerome Moran. 
Mountains, Stills, the Far West, Brofay's Grand Canyon Suite, and the new Philharmonic Orchestra of Irving. Sunday, December 15th, 3.30 p.m. at the Irving. Oh.